homemade fish goujons are so easy to make and I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks uh, what to put into the breadcrumbs to give them lots of flavour and texture. I'm going to talk about this really nice wild Atlantic cod loins. And this is Kyo Hans um, who um, organized these and threw it for Simply Better. So it's pin bone, the skin is on. So what I've done is take it out of the packet and cut it probably about maybe, what, the length of your small index finger, but maybe twice the thickness. So if you can cut them kind of uniform size, there's no skin, there's no bone. Uh, flour, a little bit of salt. We'll be using some of the corn fed, simply better corn fed egg and a little bit of milk. And then we have some breadcrumbs. So the breadcrumbs I'm using is the Gia Batter breadcrumbs. So that's then there. Just into a bowl, we're going to kind of jazz them up with a little bit of sesame seeds, which I love. I seem to use a lot of sesame seeds. We're going to put some grated lemon into this, the zest. So a little touch of this just into the bowl. You can do this in the food processor, obviously not the lemon, but I'm gonna mix it all together in here. And then for a nice little bit of freshness, some chopped parsley. You can uh, mix it up. You can put a little bit of curry powder into this. You can put some of the harissa spice. You mix it up there and just get your hand in there and that lemon will give lovely freshness. But for me, the key is that really nice cod. So before I flour egg a breadcrumb, which I'm gonna show you, and this is called pane, we're going to heat our pan. We're gonna put a good drizzle of some rapeseed oil and then we'll pop a little bit of butter, but they cook really, really fast. So there's a technique, what we call is pane, so it's dipping it in flour. So we'll do that first. And then into your egg wash, so that's one egg and a little bit of milk, and then into the breadcrumbs. So this whole technique here is just so simple and you can make extra of these and you can freeze them. When I have them crumbed, they'll, they'll keep for about three to four days in your fridge, fresh fresh, should I say, but um, you can also freeze them so you can get ahead of yourselves. Now, so that's the first stage. I'm gonna keep the plate. So one hand in the egg, one hand in the breadcrumb. So if we just go in nice and close here and I'll show you, you just literally roll the cod in the egg so that the flour helps the egg stick. And then with the other hand, your dry hand, you're going to literally just do that. So that's our little kind of fish goujon done with some cod. So it's a great one for your kids. And you know, we're an island for me. I've done a lot of kind of seafood television shows and we should be eating a lot more fish. And we are, I think we're definitely getting better. So this can be done with lovely fresh hake, you know, any of those white fish like whiting, but particularly cod works really, really well. Now you can deep fry them and you can bake them off in the oven. And I'll go through that in a moment. So look at the way I'm pressing it. This hand is wet. This hand is dry so that you're not all covered in breadcrumbs. You have more kind of breadcrumbs in your fingers than you do have uh, on the actual fish. So again, these can be covered in cling film. Look at the way I have it on a plate. You can put it into a little uh, tray or a dish, whatever you're comfortable with, and then cover it with cling film. And it'll keep for three or four days in the fridge. No problem at all. Now see the way I have extra breadcrumbs. What you can do is you can freeze these and you can label them, but remember you've had raw fish in them. So just remember that, but they're absolutely fine. There's no, no problem with that because you're obviously going to use them again and you're going to uh, cook the fish. So that's two, that's actually a full packet of the cod that I've taken out there. And I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna wash my hands. So we're gonna pan fry this. So remember what I say, cover that in cling film, keep that into the fridge and that will absolutely keep no problem at all. Just give my hands a good wash now. So we're going to uh, shallow fry them. We're gonna put a little bit of butter. So turn up the pan. We're using rapeseed oil and butter. And then we're just gonna melt the butter here. And they're gonna cook really fast. That's the one thing about fish. It cooks really, really fast. So try not to crowd the pan too much. Make sure it's nice and hot. And just look at the way I have the butter kind of nicely kind of melted around it. Now you can bake this off in the oven at 180 and it'll take about maybe, say about maybe 12, 14 minutes at 180. Now, if I'm doing it in the oven, I put a roll of parchment paper onto a tray and then put your fish onto it. Now, remember uh, with the breadcrumbs, they're like a sponge. They're gonna absorb all that lovely uh, oil and butter. So just literally keep an eye on them. We don't want the, the temperature kind of too hot. So we might have to reduce that down slightly, just a little bit more oil. Now remember, I did put some salt into the flour, so it was already seasoned. Okay, so they're cooking up nicely there. I'm going to just get a little bit organized here. 
So with this, we're gonna serve some tartar sauce, but also I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple pesto mayonnaise. I put this on recently, I was telling somebody about a little tip for just to flavor some mayonnaise. So this is just some regular full fat mayonnaise. This is some of the Simply Better fresh basil pesto, which we love, we absolutely love it, so we do. And it's lovely over some toasted bread with some of the Serrano ham. So if you put a couple of spoonfuls in here, and then a little bit more lemon zest, and then we put a touch of salt into this. And then I'm gonna put a little squeeze of lemon. I have some leftover lemon, a little squeeze. So let's just turn down the pan. We're gonna have a little look at our fish. We're gonna flip them over. So just be very careful, beautiful and golden brown. And trust me guys, the butter will give the flavor. The rapeseed oil will stop the butter from burning. So just keep moving them around. Oh, they're so good. Now, if you bake them off in the oven, as I said, they do take longer, but um, they're obviously a little bit healthier, but I think butter in moderation, it's, it's a natural Irish ingredient, and it's one thing we do so well. So a little bit more oil. So you can see the way I put initially one lot of oil and then another little drizzle, because the breadcrumbs just absorb it. I'm sure may as well have a tiny little bit of butter there. Gorgeous. You're gonna get that lovely kind of, see if you look closely at the crumbs, you can see the sesame seeds. You can't see the lemon zest, but you're definitely gonna taste it. And then you can see the little bit of chopped parsley. You could mix it up, as I say, with a little bit of chili powder, harissa powder, curry powder, and that. So back on some mayonnaise, some pesto, and just a little bit of lemon juice. Tiny little touch of salt. And this is gorgeous. And if you wanted just a little bit of mayonnaise with some uh, lemon, that's perfect too. So just come in nice and close and I'll just show you. This is gorgeous in a wrap. It really is. And actually these are beautiful in a wrap too. So we need to be careful because they will burn very, very easily. So I'll just move them onto a smaller ring. My middle ring here is definitely faster and it's the bigger one. So I'll just let them cook away there for a moment. Okay, we're gonna just literally spoon on the mayonnaise. I'm gonna turn uh, the cod goujons again. And I, I think that is so tasty. I'm gonna turn them just to make sure that they're nice and golden brown. They're cooking through and because they're cut kind of like evenly, they're not going to, um, they're not gonna to take too long to cook at all. Whereas this one is a little bit big, this one here. Mm, the smell of that, so good. And that lovely kind of texture, the sesame seeds. I tend to put that sesame seeds a lot into um, into a lot of breadcrumbs, I really like it. So this is some Irish made tartar sauce. There's gherkins, there's capers, there's some lovely ra rapeseed oil and some free range eggs. It's a mayonnaise base. And this is it here. So this is made from a company in Dunmanway, way down in the beautiful uh, Cork. So it is, and uh, the, the name of the company is Spice of Life. So they do the gravies, they do the peppered sauce for Simply Better, and they're just fantastic. And they're beautiful custard. So this is it here, you can see the little bit of texture so classically with fish and chips, this would be served with it. And it's lovely, it's punchy, it's tangy. It's a very natural um, product and it's delicious. So you don't have to make the two um, servings or dressings like I've done, you can do one or the other, but this is so convenient. It's Irish made and for me, it's a really, really lovely product. So the key is, just to recap, these lovely wild gigantic cod. So there is um, skin on that, but there's no bones. So I've removed the skin just for doing these. We're gonna check if these are nearly cooked. Remember, into the breadcrumbs, we put um, some lemon zest, some sesame seeds, and also some um, parsley, a little bit of flat leaf parsley, or curly parsley. So you're gonna get that lovely kind of crunchy texture when you pan fry it in the oven on a tray, parchment paper, about 180, and it'll take about 12 to 15 minutes. So you just literally get the point of a knife. They're more or less cooked, and I'll just literally cut into one and I can show you. Okay. So they're beautiful and moist, so they are. And that's the secret into doing these really nice, crispy, kind of like fish goujons. So good. And like this one's kind of breaking up a little bit. If you come in here, Mel, I'll just show you. So it just, it just kind of like, because it's such a delicate fish and it's a beautiful fish. So I'm just gonna literally arrange it. You can put it onto some kitchen paper. I'm gonna keep it very simple. And we're lucky because our twins, Connor and Lucia, they love fish. And this is something you could actually put into a lovely wrap 
with some nice crunchy cod salad, some maybe tomatoes if you like tomatoes. And then what you could do is you could put in, just be careful with that one there, uh, some of that mayonnaise would be absolutely delicious. So this is very simple. The key is using that really nice fresh cod. Okay, and then one more. Just be very careful, cod, they're hot. On top, and there we go. I'm gonna turn that off. So that is my um, crunchy, crispy uh, fish goujons, cod goujons, uh, tartar sauce on the left, and on my right then we have that lovely pesto and lemon mayonnaise. But for me, it's that beautiful Irish cod the whole way from County Cork. So enjoy this very simple and delicious recipe. Serve it with maybe a salad, uh, as I say, in a wrap, or even in a kind of a brioche bun with a little bit of shredded salad. But these are your uh, fish fingers, kind of uh, done a little bit posh, but lots of flavor. So enjoy the simple recipe. Thank you.